cool. That was the wrong thing to say. <laughs> <laughs> but why don't you bury it? You can read it on her face. Yeah. Hello. Oh, welcome back to Bookend Gaming. I'm Eric. I'm Travis. And I'm Eric. <laughs> You're also Hassel. Yeah. And I am also sometimes Hassel. Okay. We are Hassel. We are Hassel. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're a cult. <laughs> drink the Kool Aid. Drink the beer. Don't drink the beer. It's in the. <laughs> it's gross. For the first time in a long while, I finally have an answer to something. Perhaps not even that, but at least I now have the right question to ask gonna ask her to marry her will you leave or stay do 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 goes what kind of <laughs> should i leave or should that? i stay oh no oh, oh god it's, it's raining oh it's gonna be so sad hurry lily i'm moving as fast as i can i'm blind you now <laughs> I can barely make out Lily's voice over the deafening pounding of the rain, even though I dislike pulling her around. <laughs> the situation calls for it. I turn forward, my free hand over my head in a futile attempt to keep at least my hair dry. My vision seems to be in grayscale. This really is rotten weather for summer, and the last kind of climate I'd want for a date. Whatever, you could kiss in the rain and it's all romantic. Yeah, isn't that what's going to happen here? Probably. A pity. I'd even checked the weather forecast beforehand, one of the very few times I'd ever done so, only for it to say that Sunday afternoon would be fine. I'm kill that weatherman. <laughs> Looking to Lily, her shoulders are now completely drenched, with her right hand holding tightly to mine and her left gripping her retracted cane. The horrid downpour came on just as we were between our destination and Yamaku, so we decided to try rushing the rest of the distance rather than doubling back. A decision I now regret. Yeah. Entirely unused to running this fast, Lily's using all her concentration just to avoid tripping over. Your heart's just gonna give out. Yeah. What's Hassel, do you know where we're going? No idea. <laughs> Even she's reduced to shouting to try and be heard over the combined noise of the wind and the rain. She must be just terrified right now. Yeah. <laughs> God. The Shah! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. The rest of my voice is completely drowned out by an even heavier burst of rain. The what? I said the Shah. <laughs> <laughs> the Shanghai. How far is it? It shouldn't be far now. There it is. It doesn't take long before I call out to her once again. It looks like we're safe. It's just up ahead. Like five steps. Safe. I like... quickly <laughs> pull up to a stop just in front of the familiar exterior. The lantern outside still giving off its reliable glow and wait for Lily to catch her breath before going in. Why would you do that? Go in and get out of the rain and then catch your breath. Ladies first. The hue hue. The tiny bell inside rings out when I hold the door open for her, a smile and a polite nod being my reward before entering myself. Oh, God, <laughs> I wish I could do that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I read that weird on purpose. <laughs> what are you doing, Hassan? <laughs> As I step in behind her and wipe my feet only a quick glance is necessary to notice the distinct lack of activity the shanghai doesn't seem to get much in the way of patronage and today is no different only a couple of tables are occupied summoned by the bells ringing a most expected person comes to greet us it's emmy it's misha <laughs> welcome to the shanghai yuko looks chipper today trying to predict her moods is pretty hard but it's a nice change from the norm Look Hello. at the shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shoulders for days. <laughs> Hello, Yuko. Hey. Good afternoon, you two. Whoop. Whoop. Sorry, I tripped a little. She takes a deep bow, somewhat taken aback as she writes herself again and gets a better look at us. What happened to you? You both look terrible. It's raining outside. <laughs> Her eyes drift towards the glass of the door behind us. Oh, oh dear. We're inside now. Yes, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we are? I think that's the most important thing. 
It's nice and cozy. You're lucky to be working inside today. It has been nice and quiet. I like days like this. I have to go get a wet floor sign now. <laughs> oh wait, um, sorry. Is there anything you'd like? Oh, I'll take a menu. <laughs> French vanilla- <laughs> French vanilla tea, please. I'll have the same. Gross. Right, coming right up. French vanilla tea? Yeah. That does not sound good. She quickly skitters off with a determined look on her face. Trying very hard not to forget our orders. I mean, I mean it's two, the <laughs> same thing. It's one thing. If nothing else, she is at least dedicated to her job. I lead Lily to an empty seat before the two of us settle down. Ew, wet seats. Ugh. As usual, there's a large difference between my exhausted flopping down into my seat and Lily's delicate ass sliding into hers. Her cane <laughs> set beside her. You make dad noises as you sit down, just a... <clears throat> yeah. Oh, <laughs> For a while, I just idly watch the rain falling outside. The occasional person runs down the street trying to stay as dry as possible, hands off and tightly gripping a rain-soaked umbrella. I mean, just walk under the umbrella and then yeah, don't get wet. Yeah, exactly. Don't <laughs> run. You get wetter if you run. Lily sits just as quietly as I, her eyes closed as she intently listens to all that's happening a comfortable relaxing silence that exists between us just the type that we'd so often shared together in the past months you're just sitting there and she's like she just put the wrong creamer in <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> that smells like regular vanilla not you know. french vanilla <laughs> for lily at least i can't help replaying the words of her sister in my mind at times contrasting them to both our time spent together since i entered yamaku and to the way we've been s since we started dating no matter how much I try, I can't work Lily out. It's as if the harder I try to second-guess her emotions and her potential decision, the more difficult it becomes to reach a clear conclusion. It makes me doubt whether I'd ever really understood her. In the end, I'm going to have to ask, even though I very much want to avoid doing so. You wanted to. You wanted to do it. <laughs> I did. <laughs> you seem quiet today. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> really? <Sal. laughs> You seem so enthusiastic about taking me out on a date. I'd assumed you had something specific you wanted to do. I took you to a fancy restaurant, and you take me to the damn Shanghai. <laughs> on a rainy day. Yeah. No, not really. Just wanted to spend some time with you. Is that so? Fine, there was one thing. A little grin finds its way onto Lily's face, her knowing full well that she's bested me. That wily minx. It makes what I want to say all the more awkward. It was just... Akira and I were talking... You're breaking <laughs> up with me. Oh? Yeah. What's with that tone? You two do seem to get on well, don't you? Well, I do think she's a pretty cool person to talk with. It'd be nice if any of the teachers were anything like her. Cool. That was the wrong thing to say. <laughs> Well, why don't you bury it? You can read it on her face. Yeah. For a moment, I try to place her tone of voice, my mouth curling into a smirk as I realize it. I'm going to push this further because I'm a jerk. Oh, God. You're not jealous, are you? That's what you want to do in a relationship, try to make the person jealous. Well, make you think you like their sister? Yeah. yeah. I'm not jealous. After her teasing me over such a thing on our first date, I don't feel too bad having a little laugh at her expense this time around. Flick some more rice at her eye. And never notice she wears a cross. Really? <laughs> yeah, I always just thought that was like weird, like collarbone cleavage. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> As we settle down, though, it's only a minor distraction from the real point of why I brought Lily here. Don't worry, it was mostly just everyday stuff. That said, there was something Akira mentioned that I want to talk to you about. It was no everyday stuff. No. <laughs> I was like, wait. <laughs> Liar! <laughs> When you went to see your family in Inverness a while back, she said... Akira told you about my family's summons, hasn't she? Aha! I knew it! <laughs> Seconds tick by while I try to read Lily's face, an odd mixture of feelings written on it. She seems annoyed, but also somewhat confused. Um, here. This looks like a good time to interrupt. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yuko tentatively slides our drinks onto the table, her presence oddly small. 
Which one of you got the French vanilla tea? <laughs> Lily just has another one of her angry outbursts. This is Earl Grey! She <laughs> throws it in her face. <laughs> As she walks back to the counter after a quick, polite nod, I realize the air between Mil- Millie and Lily. <laughs> Me and Lily is thick, and our expressions are both somewhat pensive. Even though she says I should lead my own life, she still interferes at the worst times. I don't think you should blame Akira here. She's cool. <laughs> She's just looking out for you, and it's not like I can, can't can understand her concern over this. You think cool will ever go out of style? People still use cool nah, for cool. things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Lily's irritation gives way to an awkward and largely unsuccessful attempt to mask her feelings. She really doesn't deal well with being cornered on personal topics. I know, but I just wanted some more time. I knew you'd have figured it out eventually, but... I thought it was best you hear it from Akira. (laughs) (laughs) You you were intentionally hiding this from me. For how long were you planning to do so? I would have called you after I moved. (laughs) As I said, I simply wanted more time to think it through. I wanted to be sure of my decision before telling you. What did you decide to do in the end? Uh? Okay. (laughs) I know what I wanted to say. It doesn't even matter. (laughs) (laughs) But an awful feeling refuses to leave my gut. My family does dearly want me to return to them, and Akira will be going as well. I could still teach as a career, whether it be here or there. Yeah, but most people already know English there. (laughs) So you're going. Great. Grand! (laughs) (laughs) How long have you known? I already know you were asked when you first went to Scotland about a month ago. Some time... So all the sex was just like a consolation parting gift? Yeah. Dang, that sucks. <laughs> <laughs> My frustration very nearly boils over. The fact that she's done this affects me more than it should. For her to not only be leaving, but to have been actively hiding her own plans from me, and after seeming for so long to be the one solid pillar of support and reliability I could depend on, it feels as if the foundation underneath me is suddenly shifting drastically, much faster than I can adapt to. Perhaps this isn't so much frustration as sheer unease. Maybe it's an earthquake. She really? has this terrible life decision and that totally affects all of her future plans. How can I make this about me? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> How dare you? You lied from the beginning. <laughs> Lily, we had sex. <laughs> I'm sorry. We shouldn't have. I just... I wanted to think this through completely. I wasn't trying to take advantage of you. Please. Also, I'm pregnant. <laughs> I know. I know, Lily. I know. This is just really sudden. I mean, not for you. You've known for a month. Right. I guess this means that once you go, we'll be breaking up. That must be why she screamed at Kenji. Yeah. She's just... <laughs> it's one all of pinned up. T- yeah. For one of the few times I've seen since I met her, she's genuinely lost for words. Yeah, she never shuts up. She doesn't look surprised. No doubt because the first uh, the fact had dawned on her once she became sure of her decision. But rather, she appears genuinely unsure of how to deal with the situation now that it's in front of her. Jeez, I'm telling you, that pianist is, like, earning his keep. Yeah, right. The, like, flourish there was kind of <laughs> nice. They paid a lot of money for this segment. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of money to stockmusic.com or whatever. <laughs> we, we could try pursuing a long-distance relationship. Those always work. They're getting more and more common these days, after all. Those suck. Even as she says it, <laughs> the tone of her voice gives away that she doesn't truly believe what she's saying. Oop. Oh boy. I'm gonna <clears> take a nap. <throat> Lily is far too old-fashioned to be able to cope with a relationship without any kind of physical presence, and even I am to an extent. All we would ever be to each other would be a voice from the other side of the world. Yeah, I couldn't handle not being able to see her. <laughs> <laughs> In the end, trying to rationalize everything is futile. Any attempts to try and connect what's happening with the future or past just seems to get more difficult the more I concentrate. (laughs) Those quiet moments when we just walked side by side, the precious time we spent with Hanako and Akira, the casual chatter we had during lunch times, the times we made love, the confessions of our feelings to each other. Why is your internal monologue your father? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) All pointless. All just a fleeting moment in our young lives. We're just two children pretending to be adults, aren't we? Hmm. What a weird thing to say. 
A long, long silence hangs in the air between us. The noise of the other patrons drinking and talking only makes the situation feel more strange and disconnected. I thought you said it was like quiet in here and there's nobody in here. Yeah, everyone's <laughs> just listening to you. L- Lily's face remains low, her dejected expression clouding it. I'm sorry, Hassel. Have fun walking home by yourself. <laughs> A simple apology, and no more. She's left entirely without any further response or comment. With a long sigh, I gather what's left of my thoughts and ask the final question I have for her. Is this a choice? (laughs) When will you be going? I'll be leaving with Akira, so it'll be a little less than a week. (laughs) That does suck. (laughs) It sucks. (laughs) The beginning of summer holidays? This is the good ending? Just a little afterward, (laughs) yes. Her tone is unusually slow and steady, her apologetic and depressed mood all the more written to her face as she tries to hide it in her voice. You know what? You know what would be the greatest ending to this? Actually, it would be, like, terrible, but this is how I would write it. (laughs) Yeah. And if this does happen, then I deserve some kind of prize. Okay. But she goes to the airport, and it's like a sitcom or a movie where you race to the airport yeah. to stop her. But about halfway into running towards her, your heart gives out and you die. Oh, man. Because <laughs> you ran. Yeah. <laughs> Lily, I love... <laughs> oh, I want it to happen. In the end, it doesn't even matter. I can't even keep my promise of going to Tanabata with her before she leaves. Oh, no, she's going to ruin Tanabata. Oh, man, she was going to wear a, whatever the dress. The yukata. Yeah. I was going to say kimono, but yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Ugh, we're leaving. I'm depressed I can't deal now. with this anymore. Let's play over. Not really. Mm-hmm.